Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is a semicircular lamina of radius 35 cm is folded so that the two bounding radii are joined together to form a cone. Find the radius of the cone and the surface area of the cone. So this is the question is obvious. So first in the question is provided that a semicircular lamina of radius 35 cm. That means if we draw a lamina like this. We will get uh, something shape like this. So this will be the uh, center of this circle, and this much distance equals to thirty-five centimeter. Now it is given that this is folded to form a cone by joining the two radii. That means this two length, if we will join, we will get the radius. So if we will form a cone with this uh, circular lamina. Our slant height, that means this length, will be equal to thirty-five centimeter, or this length is equal to the radius of the uh, this uh, semicircle. So now we have to find out the radius of the cone. Now one thing there is common between these two, that is the curved surface area. The curved surface area of this cone will be equal to the area of this uh, semicircle. So that means we first find out curved surface area of cone will be equal to area of semicircle. So area of semicircle means we know that is half into pi r square. So one by two into twenty two by seven. Into thirty five into thirty five, so radius is thirty five and pi value we take as twenty two by seven. So we cut it eleven here and here five. So it becomes eleven into five into thirty five. So eleven into five into thirty five we do five twenty five. One seventy five. So eleven into one seventy five we do, it becomes one nine two five centimeter square. So now area of this semicircle is one nine two five centimeter square. Now the curved surface area of this cone will also be equal to one nine two five centimeter square. So from this information, you can find out the radius of the cone, like this. That curved surface area formula is pi r l. So this is the formula of the curved surface area. Now, if we put one nine two five in place of curved surface area, and here also we put twenty two by seven in place of pi, r in place of r, and l we put value thirty five. So as we have told that the value of this um, slant height that will be called thirty five centimeter. So this value, if we solve, we will easily get the value of r. So seven and thirty five we cut, it becomes five. So if we modify this equation, it becomes r equals to one nine two five by twenty two into five. So first, if we cut by five, we will get three hundred and eighty five. So now we have got three hundred eighty five by twenty two. We divide it, so three hundred eighty five. So one is twenty two. Remainder is one sixty five. Now by seven we go. So it becomes one fifty four. So remainder is one one. So point to give so zero. So and finally five. So radius will be equal to seventeen point five centimeter. So now our second question is: We were asked the surface area or the lateral surface area of the cone. So lateral surface area. So it is similar to the curved surface area. So curved surface area only means the lateral surface area. So, so curved surface area. So the value of the curved surface area we already know that is one nine two five centimeter square. So this is the final answer for this questions. So for this question, the curved surface area value we got one nine two five centimeter square. So from this information, we calculated the radius of the cone that is seventeen point five centimeter and the lateral surface area that is one nine two five centimeter square. So.
so these are the final answers for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution like this Thank you.